this video we're taking you back to August, September of last year when we started work on our garden. Here's the plan. The green bit is a hedge that will surround part of our garden. That will give us a little more privacy, provide a bit of safety for our cats if they want to roam around outside and a beautiful backdrop. As you have seen, putting in a post in this soil is not as easy as we thought. Uh, we got it in eventually. So we went back to the drawing board and we came up with a much better plan, which involved much better tools and hopefully allows us to work much quicker. Thank you. 
this is working much better and we're getting the hang of it. We are digging up a lot of these big stones and we're using them to get a feel of the layout of the garden. We are planning to divide this part into four sections. We are going to level each of these sections differently. This has to do with the height difference between the highest point of our piece of land and the lowest point there is a big difference of several meters. It's almost impossible to show you that on camera, but trust me, it's like that. We meant to come back the next day to finish another batch of posts, but it started to rain and that was it. Autumn set in and the rain didn't stop. So this part of the project has been dormant since then and somewhere in spring we'll pick it back up, but that's for another video. Look, it's growing. We planted this at the beginning of fall last year. It was a gift from uh, friends of us. Dankjewel Leentje. Uh, and it's doing great. Looks like they survived winter. Imagine this garden surrounded by a mixed green hedge. Like a ever-changing green wall all around the garden. We will have one major path from the house to here to a door inside um, the hedge and that will be a side line but also blocked lines of sight because I want the garden to be uh, something that invites you to go explore what is around the edges that you cannot really see 
um, the full of it. So we are actually going to make four sections and in between there will be little path going and weaving through those borders and I'm probably going to theme them a li little bit. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with every section. I know which kind of plants I want. Plants in various heights, mostly evergreens, ground covering plants, lots of roses, cottage garden flowers. I'm thinking this one is going to be my fragrant flower garden. I'll probably start with one flower border at a time, see how I can manage that and then start adding them uh, as we go. Oh, and, and this is, people, this is like a five-year plan. Eh? Don't expect this to be finished uh, next year. But the house as it is does not really have a connection with the garden. You cannot see, even see the garden properly from the house. Only the window in the upstairs um, landing has a garden view. Um, so we are thinking that once we don't need the garage anymore for tool storage and everything, we are going to turn it into a second um, living room with big opening doors where now the windows are. Like a big terrace, little small areas of grass because um, Lex always needs to be able to sit with his feet uh, uh, in the grass on a chair. Bare feet. Bare feet in the grass. This uh, space has been turned around and is now building material storage. We have sand here that was here all along. Uh, what's in here? I forgot. This is rubble that can be used under a terrace, wood poles for the fence that we're working on, firewood. Uh, this pallet is reserved for slate stones. This part here, all of this will be to store reclaimed clay and straw. This is what comes out of the wall and of the ceiling. But it's a great material to reuse, so we're going to store it here for now and reuse it later. Still, we have a lot of space up there to put things as we discover what we need. We are really glad this part of the project has been fixed and we have now a room where we can store building materials. So this one is probably going to be quite a bit of lawn with a nice outdoor grill that we're gonna build ourselves. And then we'll have a seating area here with a nice couch maybe our hammock in between of the beams, some of those egg hanging chairs, and that little stove that we found in the attic. This is one of the nicest spots on a very, very hot day because it is um, guarded from the sun from, uh, by the big barn. It's facing north, so it, it never gets too hot in here. And that area probably will be a kitchen, an outdoor kitchen area where we can maybe even have a pizza oven or something so that we can bake pizzas here. 
and I have plans for that wall completely made out of different window frames. But I'm going to tell you about that another time. What's going on there? Yeah, lots of birds in the shrubs and that's exactly what I want. Lots of work, lots of fun, lots of plans, lots of dreaming, but it will take some time. Yep, sure will. But it's going to be awesome. Yeah, of course. Bye. Oh my goodness, this, this is something else. This is probably the most exciting footage we will ever make. <laughs> so, pull it, just pull it. Inside? Pull it in, yeah. But it wants to go out. It wants it to go, that's the problem. That's the problem, it yeah. doesn't want to go in. Shall I go get some tools? <laughs> 